This is not Manila, this is Vancouver. Hey everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good holiday and as we are uh, well into the new year, I hope you're having a good one. And I can see we still have a few holiday decorations that are still up and I hope you had a great holiday. I've been a bit out of commission in the, in the last little bit. Lots of work, 10, 12, 14 hour days, seven days a week. And really grateful to be working with such a great team but I can certainly use a break and maybe even a buffet. And a little while ago, I got to visit Manila and their most popular and famous buffet called the Vikings. Lots of good food, many great people, high energy and spirits, and yes, the beer. And really grateful to get to visit and share this experience together. And also really grateful for Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video in my professional life data security, privacy, and integrity are of utmost importance. And in my personal life, I use Surfshark VPN to make sure my data and internet activities are safe and secure. By going through a VPN, it adds an extra layer of security, ensuring your data is safe and encrypted from end to end. And even more important, it hides and masks your internet activity and history, preventing those unscrupulous individuals from executing social engineering attacks or email scams. There's nothing worse than getting a notification from someone who's pretending to be from a company whom you visited, asking for personal and sensitive information. So with a VPN, you can prevent or at least alleviate a lot of these attacks. And there's another nice feature of a VPN based on the VPN server that you're connecting to, or more particularly, the country in which that VPN server is located, you can avoid something called geo-blocking, in which uh, a site or a service can block your access unless you're from the local region. And a while back, I got to meet up with sensational journalist and TV personality Grace Dent, where she was filming luxurious buffet for a BBC television program, and I got to join her. And thanks to a couple of viewers from the UK mentioned that that episode aired on the BBC. But here in Canada, we don't get the BBC. If I try to access her site, this is what I get. But that's okay. Using Surfshark VPN, I just change my location. Access the site again. And voila, I can relive the experience of tackling that wonderful buffet with grace with dish after dish of buffet goodness. And if you're like me and addicted to that wonderful Netflix series, The Blacklist, and can't get access to the next episode, you can simply change your location back home, reconnect, and enjoy the exciting and riveting adventures and capers of one Raymond Reddington to your heart's content. And if you're planning to do some traveling in the new year, it's always nice to use that geolocation feature to compare prices of hotels and airlines from your current location with your destination location to ensure you're getting the best price possible. So give it a try to keep your data and internet activities safe and secure. Surfshark VPN was kind enough to offer a promotion for the best offer on a 24 month subscription. Surfshark is providing an extra three months and 83% off. And to get the offer, you can scan the QR code on the screen or click on the links in the video description below or use promo code Tim Lee VPN to access the offer. And the offer again is on a 24 month subscription. They give you an extra three months and 83% off. And the reason I personally use Surfshark VPN is their no logging policy and the RAM only servers ensures that your data and history is not tracked nor stored. And with so many devices one has from gaming consoles to phones and tablets, to laptops and computers. Surfshark VPN allows you to connect to all of these devices unlimited. And speaking of unlimited, which is always a good thing, I can certainly use an unlimited feast at the Vikings Buffet. But first, we'll need to get out of this mall and into the Mall of Asia, where we do some browsing, a little bit of shopping, a couple of t-shirts, a few chocolate bars, number one, number two, number three, and more. And with the shopping complete, it's time for a little bit of a stroll through this wonderful seaside park. And to further work up the appetite, a stroll away from the malls and along this wonderful seawall, enjoying the views. So it's so nice to be walking in an air-conditioned mall 
but it's even nicer to be able to walk along the seaside here. It's a little bit humid, but that's okay. I must say, I can see why there's such an attraction to malls. Lots of good food and even a buffet or two, which I managed to catch. All that amazing Filipino fare and a wonderful lechon as well. And I think for $10, you can't beat that. But today we're going to skip this because we're just heading up to the Vikings. I think there's a line already. So glad I have the reservation. And they're just calling out the numbers here. And lots of people celebrating, taking pictures. So this is relatively early and I think they just opened. Uh, reservation number 27 under Jenny. 27 under Jenny. I'm number 30, so uh, relatively quick. But it's kind of nice because they have popcorn and everything while you wait. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to go for the popcorn, especially when it's a buffet. Uh, but I think our numbers uh, should be coming up really soon. Reservation number 30 under Mr. Tim Lee. So those are the best words I can hear. Is it okay to go in? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Hi. Thanks. Hi. Morning. morning. Just making my way to the table and we have to traverse all this great, wonderful food. Your table, Paul. Paul, thank you so much for this wonderful table and the buffet looks fantastic. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, all right, thank you. All right, it's so nice to uh, have a wonderful table. And uh, you know, back home in Vancouver, it's always nice to be, uh, when it's cold outside, it's nice to be inside having a warm meal. In Manila, it's quite the opposite. When it's hot and muggy outside, it's so nice to be in an air-conditioned buffet restaurant enjoying a nice, cool, and maybe even a warm meal. Uh, but let me show you the room here. So we've got people just coming in. This is another room here. And out there, you can see the wonderful seaside. It's a little muggy and being inside is just superb. And I have my wristband. So with this, I think it's time to head over to the buffet. Let's go. So this looks so festive and huge. I'm not sure where to begin, but let's do some exploring. So this is wonderfully busy and overwhelmingly so in the best possible way. And we can see all the hardworking folks at the back. I think this is a Japanese station. So with so many stations, I think we'll just start with the closest one. And I think this is a dim sum station. Let's grab a plate. So I'm gonna start from the very end at least that way we know how to peruse the station. And you can see the cookery at the back. And starting off, we have, and I think this is, oh, luscious uh, pig trotters, uh, but really nice and gelatinous. And then more Chinese fare. Oh, sweet and sour pork. And this is, this is looking like, uh, oh, and seat, uh, Chinese noodles. This is Buddha soup. And this is a seafood soup. That looks pretty good, but maybe not today because there's really nice steaming hot dishes here. So some eggplant, oh, some beef. I think that is seafood. And this is wonderful noodles. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of this. Nothing like rice noodles next to the pig trotter, some deep fried pork, uh, pork curry, deep fried, and then wonderful side dishes, chicken basil, that looks really good. Finally, we have the dim sum. All right, let's see. Oh, the shrimp dumplings. All right, let's go for one. And to keep it company, number two. Let's see, ube buns. Regular buns, we'll skip that. Okay, chicken feet. I'm gonna skip one of those. I remember I overdid it at the uh, Hokkaido Manila. And then this is, I think this is barbecue pork bun. Oh, and some wonderful dumplings. Some pork dumplings right here and its cousin. So with the bits and bites, we have the sushi station. Look at this boat of colorful confetti of sushi. And now we have the rolls. All right, let's give this a try. Not sure what it is. Over here. Okay, and there's more side dishes. The pickles. And again, they do a fantastic job here. Really colorful and more pickles. And I think as we turn the corner, we have more Japanese fare. 
We have some pancakes, Thai chicken, oh, japchae. I guess this is not Japanese, but Korean always love a good japchae. Oh, just a little bit next to the noodles, noodles international. And then uh, chef was kind enough to keep this stocked up, fish cakes and taboki. I think this is a rice dish, babimbap, fun to say, and more appies here. I think this is pancake. I'm going to give that a try. Oh, and then the tempura is nice and fresh. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you, you first. So there's two left. How about one for you? And then one for me. But that's okay because there's a lot more. Here, I'm just going to grab one here. Then the Mongolian station and then a shabu shabu and wonderful noodles for display. So this is where it should begin. This is a salad station, but we're gonna take a quick peek at this. We won't stay here too okay. long. So lots of a medley of greens and veggies. Always a nice healthy start and it is crowded. And then we have some soup. Let's see. Okay, this looks like a wonderful cream soup of some sort. And this here is Sinagang salmon. Oh, and that tangy aroma just gets your appetite going. And this is perfect because we have so many hors d'oeuvres here. All right, so tears of goodness. And I think we'll try a fried potato, some veggies, and they come in the perfect proportion. Mexican chicken and seafood ceviche. Thank you so much. It looks great. So really great folks here, and more hors d'oeuvres, some crostini. Oh, and these are eggs? Okay, and as soon as I take one out, uh, they are kind enough to restock this. And more taco wonton cups. Let's go for one of these. And this is wonderful, a pot of melted cheese. I can't think of anything better. And where you have the cheese, you have the nachos. So these are jalapeno bacon croquettes. Go for one. Over here. Go small. And number two, right next to it here. Some quesadilla. Crispy, cheesy chicken. Best type of chicken. Fried barbecue chicken. And this is a wonderful kitty station with the french fries and oh my goodness, that is a mac and cheese ball. And I think we're all a little bit of a, we have that spirit of a kid at heart. So let's go for a cheesy mac and cheese. So moving on from the kitty station, I think we see a lot more. This is, uh, again, a really crowded like the traffic in Manila. Uh, but I think we're seeing a bread station coming up and we'll stay away from the bread because there's just so much more good food to try. So now I am impressed. This is a butter station. Just like the Sofitel Spiral Buffet, they have their own butter station. Regular butter, garlic, black olives, pesto, ooh, honey truffle, and a little bit of an accident there. And then let's see, a wonderful assortment of cheeses and cold cuts. Mozzarella, edam, mortadella, nice and fatty. Ah, and I think this is a breakfast item. Lots of mini pancakes and uh, little wonderful sausages, I think. But this isn't breakfast time and I'm getting a little bit thirsty with all that walking at a buffet. Uh, let's go for some drinks. Pitchers and pitchers of refreshing delight. Ah, but I see something that looks pretty good. So this is snow beer, and I can certainly use something cold. So that was wonderfully chaotic. And uh, let me show you what I have here, and I'm so glad I have the beer. So starting off, we've got the appies, the cream of something soup. One way to find out what that is, and a little bit of the Asian station. And this is just round one because I saw so many other great food out there. The hot food station, that wonderful grill, and the lechon. So I can't wait, but I think we're going to start with a beer. What a wonderful sound. Cheers to you. 
much needed. It was strenuous work at the buffet, but you gotta do what you need to do. And let's give this appetizers a try. The uh, bacon jalapeno croquettes look really nice. Mm. Nothing wrong with something deep fried in all its cheesy, bacony, and spicy goodness. Mm. Oh, gotta try that tempura. It is getting cold, okay. but still crispy. A little bit of the tempura sauce. Mm. Very nice. Shrimp is perfectly cooked with a wonderful texture. Got a little bit cold, so not as crispy, but that's okay. Cheers. Mm. Not bad. Still a bit of a crunch. And that mysterious sushi, can't wait to figure out what it is and one way to find out. A little bit of soy and wasabi. Mmm. Okay. That's the most wonderful salmon and tuna roll. Overflowing with generosity. Really nice. Mmm. Gotta try that wonton taco. Still nice and crispy. Cheese and meat and looks pretty good. Mm. An assertive crunch and rich, luscious taco meat on the inside, a bit of corn, lots of flavor. Really nice. Mm. A fantastic way to start. And I think I'm going to try that mystery cream soup. It's cream of something. Not sure what that something is, but I think we can make it a cream of mac and cheese in the cream soup. <laughs> Very nice. So, this is just the first round, and I definitely need the hot food station and that wonderful a ton. And I'm going to take the back once this is complete, and we'll do round two and three, and uh, who knows. Cheers. Appetizer round, devoured, really wonderful, tasty and crunchy. Japche was wonderfully greasy with all that sesame oil, a little bit of tang and opens your appetite. And with the appetite open, I think we'll go for the hot food. My goodness, lots of birthdays here. Yes, sir. Oh. Do you have a birthday celebration? Oh, not my birthday, happy but uh, birthday. wonderful, because I hear happy birthdays everywhere. Yeah, bro, that's birthday, sir, sir. Oh, really festive. So I'm actually in that little room behind me, but out here there's a lot more people. And I think the uh, hot food station is right over there. Starting off, oh, a massive bowl of steamed rice, but I think we have some other rice here and I will go for this. This is uh, Malaysian rice, lemak rice. All right. Lots of flavor. Okay, and with the rice, I think we have some saucy dishes. Wow, oh, beautiful tripe. I'm gonna go for a little bit of that. Nice and soft. Next to the rice. Let's see what else we have. Let's see. Oh, this is a potato. Oh, this is a wonderful pork casserole. And as good as the pork is looking, I think we have some even nicer dishes here. This is Indonesian. Chicken, sambal, oh my goodness. Definitely need to go with a little bit of dark meat. That wonderful sauce right here. And a little bit of gravy. So I know it's getting mixed up, but that's okay. Ooh, this is Korean fish and it looks like salmon. And this looks really interesting. Some onions, some fixings. And I think this is arroz caldo. I wonder what that is. Oh, this almost looks like menudo. No, no, it's a rice porridge of, oh my goodness, what is that? 
I think one way to find out. Oh, and moving on. Oh, this is Pinaya Han. How do you pronounce this? Pinaya Han Malok. Pinaya Han Malok. Pinaya Han Malok. Is it close enough? My apologies for the pronunciation, but this looks wonderful. I presume it is chicken with a wonderful coconut curry or a coconut gravy. Let's give this a try. And the favorite, the kere kere. That looks so good. Oh, I can't wait. The wonderful peanut sauce and the nice stewed meats. And I think these are chunks and bits of oxtail, no? Okay. And the nice thing is their bee bone. And we have someone doing the same thing, taking pictures. Really cool. Oh my goodness. And now back to this wonderful stew. This one goes directly on the rice. It's a shame everything is being mixed up. And a little bit more. And this is the bagaong. A little bit will do ya. And then this is a fried fish. And what is this here? Oh my goodness. This is a pork uh, stew of some sort. Luscious and fatty. And for a bit of health, the traditional vegetable stew. And uh, luscious aubergines right over here on the side oh and then this is a grill station look at all this wonderful roast meats the lamb the roast beef the lechon hey lando this looks amazing yeah. oh the lechon looks so good where can i get some oh can i can i get a little bit of lechon oh that's in the rice Give me a plate Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lando. Oh, and can I get some lamb and roast beef? Oh my gosh. Oh, you grill it. Lando, thank you so much. Nice and fresh. And I see some sauce. We have the peppercorn sauce, the mushroom, and the regular gravy. Let's go with the peppercorn sauce over with the lamb and the roast beef. When I see other things that Lando can grill for us, some pork, salmon, chicken, and all that good stuff, meats and seafood. And then these are the ones that are already grilled. But let's round the corner and see what we have. So this is a Western station, and there is Lando grilling and chopping everything up. And let's see. Okay, some sweet corn. So he steamed you up there some veggies and down there we've got some chicken fajita and all that good stuff and i think i see a filipino station up ahead <laughs> let's check it out and a wonderful little stand here like the little shacks along the road so this is some type of fried bread it looks sugary sweet a little bit of uh, veggies i think these are fried bananas and more bananas but i see something i really like not the chicken feet nor the egg but we have some lumpia Shanghai. And these are lumpia tung. I think these are veggies. And we have some fried goodness right here and its cousin. So this is a somewhat smaller plate, but with so many plates, this is all I can handle. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you first. Well, these look amazing. And as we mentioned, if it's running out, no worries, there's always more. Let's go for some, okay. Oyster number one and baked oyster number two. So plate again is getting full and this is one of many, I think that's all I can handle. All right, so this is round two and this is comfort food in all its glory with a wonderful grill station and the lechon fried rice. And this is a wonderful stewy goodness with the tripe and the chicken and the kere kere and the uh, uh, la mac rice, but I think we got to try one of the oysters So that's looking pretty good and never worry because when things run out they always restock and they are restocking so quickly here Oh, look at that cheesy goodness And this is nice and hot All right, let's give that a try mm. So much flavor rich cheesy cream sauce Mm. Mm. And while they're a little small, that's okay because you can go back for more and more. Mm. Gotta try that rice. 
And let's see. The nice thing is the wonderful beef, Kari Kari, has no uh, bones in there. So it's all done for you. You can eat much, much more quickly. Mm. Peanutty, creamy medley of all the sauces, but that's mainly my doing. But uh, really nice. And let's try a little bit of the bagong on the oxtail and the lamac rice. Mm. Even better. That luscious beef with the bagarong, wonderful sauces, perfect bite. Mm. And after one good rice, let's go for another. And this is the lechon fried rice. And they are certainly not skimpy with the lechon. More lechon than rice. Mm. Luscious and soft. Perfect striations of meat and fat. Missing just a little bit of that crispy skin, but that's okay. Mm. There's more food to choose from. So I'm gonna finish this up, and this is uh, absolutely comforting round. And I think see a massive line at the dessert, and uh, I'll take you back. Mm. A lot of rice, really comforting. And uh, round two was a bit of a challenge. That luscious Indonesian chicken, soft, falling off the bone, and that tripe, soft and tender, and it just glistens, melts in your mouth. And with that, I think it's time for dessert. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, a little tired now. And I see a lot of chefs out there, wonder what's going on. So I have my second win of energy and perfect for desserts. Those chefs were so talented and the servers and the hosts. And I hope there's no copyright infringement, but that's okay. And now we have our desserts here and it is crowded. Need to figure out where to get the plates. Plates are all empty all around. We'll keep circling and circling, but we can head to the hot food station for the bigger plates. The wonderful Kari Kari station and underneath we have the plates. So I think we can head back. Oh, a wall of donuts I see. And I can't think of a better place to start. Let's see. So I'm gonna skip the donuts, but these little chocolate cakes look really nice. Small, so you can have many of them. All right, little desserts here. That's okay, there's always more. And uh, lots of cupcakes and cookies. And this looks really interesting. I'm gonna give that a try. And look at this, refrigerated goodness. So you have some salad, some coffee jelly. Perfect coffee in dessert form. All right, and look at this, wonderful cakes. We have a rocky roll and a black forest gato and coffee caramel. But let's go for a little bit of the black forest gato roll or a big roll. Okay, that might be a little too big, but that's okay. We've been in tougher situations. And oh, more cupcakes, a chocolate cake, a carrot cake, more sponges. Rounding the corner, a Ferris wheel of goodness. Ah, and this is what I'm looking for, ice cream. That silver TARDIS looking like box is for soft serve. And these are the toppings. And here is the wonderful ice cream. Oh, can I get avocado? All right, and then maybe a scoop of chocolate. Okay, thank you so much. So I never had avocado ice cream, but uh, hoping it'll turn out well, and I'm sure it will. All right, some fruits. And oh, I remember that. I gotta go for the pada boom boom. Looking wonderful. I remember having this at the Sofitel Faro Buffet, and this looks absolutely wonderful. Can I get a pada boom boom? Thank you. All right, look at the steamy plate of goodness, the pata boom boom, a little bit of sugar on top, and a little bit of coconut. A 
Okay, so wonderful desserts. And I never tried an avocado ice cream. Let's give that a try because I don't think it's gonna wait, particularly after the pata boom boom. Fun to say. And it's a little bit melting away here. That's okay. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually not bad, particularly with the creaminess of the avocado. And it is lush and creamy. And a little bit of the chocolate mixed in. Give that wonderful bitter roasted notes. Mmm. I can get used to this. Let's try the black forest cake or the black forest roll. Oh, it just cuts so nicely. Oh, and it crumbles. Mm. Cake is very good. And I think the only thing that would make it better, avocado ice cream. A little bit of that ice cream right on the chocolate gato. Mm. Very nice. And that pastry over there, I think I gotta figure out what it is. Only way to do that is to give it a try. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Kind of like an Asian Twig Newton. Dense, fruity goodness on the inside and a dense uh, KK goodness on the outside. Mm. And the pot of boom boom. Wonderful pockets of... Uh, glutinous rice and uh, looks really light but I know it's a little dense but in the best possible way mm. very good the wonderful flavors of the ube and the pata boom boom I can't get over saying it really fun to say and a nice uh, crunchy goodness of the coconut and the sugar mm. very good so this is the Vikings buffet I guess Filipinos, uh, funnest buffet ever in the Philippines. Really nice. Lots of great comfort food, really friendly people, and a superb staff, uh, all the servers and the hosts. It's such performers. Uh, so I think I'm just going to finish up this dessert here. There's one more dessert that's left. Actually, two more, but let's just go for the chocolate cake. Mm. Very good. So again, thank you, and I hope you're keeping well. Hope you're eating well. Until we see each other again, God bless. Bye-bye.